Actually, next up we have a good friend of mine, um, Melee Stats member SF, Marth player here. Oh, SF. Uh, yeah, oh, Marth did a Black Marth player here, yeah. Uh, the red Marth player is actually uh, AYIDK. Not exactly sure if that's supposed to be like I, I don't know, or is it supposed to be like Kaede? I, I can't say for sure, but. Um, yeah, SF's gonna be the one in, in the black here. Okay, so, yeah. Um, Marth did always, you know, not, not a matchup I'm too familiar with, but very commonly played. Marth, of course, one of the most played matchups, or characters in Melee. And what I've heard from a lot of Marth players is that it's really built around the crouch cancels and knowing the percentage of what moves you can crouch cancel at what times, and then kind of get the, you know, dash back grabs out of that. And, yeah. Or dash forward grabs, things like that afterwards. Personally, I feel like this matchup has a lot of really wacky interactions. I mean, we saw stuff like, uh, obviously, Chris Best Net 1, 2, 3, 4, and then uh, there's a recent Kadoran vs. Zane uh, set where there's like, some real wackiness going on as well. Uh, this just kind of happens because of the way Mark works, where like his hitbox is at such a wide range out in front of him. You sometimes have things where they're both Roy zoning each other. Yeah. Yeah, there's a whole lot of different, you know, hit, hitbox strengths on Mars sword, right? So when you got two of them swinging those around, there's a lot of variables and a lot of things you can have. Yeah. Oh, okay. Trying to swing. There's see Roy zone right there. <laughs> he tried to grab, but he was too close. Yes, on the ledge. Oh, nice. Yeah, Calling out the lead. Yeah, you called out the attempt to go to ledge there. It's exactly what you need to do sometimes. Oh, he gets a grab. Yeah, oh, almost pokes him with that. Almost pokes him. Yeah. Oh, oh he goes Goes for the, the, down the down throw down air. Yeah, Trying to try get it over with. Or jump into the ledge. Seven. There it is. Okay. That'll do it. That'll do it. Not unwinnable. Kai's definitely in the building. He's dash dancing in the corner getting caught with four I can't oh, almost have him just kind of dash dancing <laughs> in front of his invincible opponent. Yep. <laughs> just like, I don't fear you. No. Maybe invincible, yeah. but. And SF quick to pull the trigger on that. Just yeah. swinging out the forwards, man. Just taking care of it with one more fair off stage. And so that was Dreamland. Uh, I'm not really sure. I mean, counterpicks are just whatever in this matchup, right? In the ditto. But some people, you know, it's all about personal preference. You know, where are you comfortable with? So I'll be looking forward to seeing where Kai is taking SF in the next match. Yeah, I mean, we may see something like FD. Who knows? Maybe Yoshi's story. Something more mm -hmm. chaotic. Uh, could really be anything. Maybe Fountain, even. Could could truly be anywhere. That's the thing. Yeah, with the ditto. yeah. It's all about you know how much of the stage does Marth's sword take up, really. So okay, <laughs> they're going for Pokemon, stage. so you know. Relatively balanced pick, I would say. Nothing oh, in the high. ditto for sure. Yeah, nothing crazy. Got enough space to run around. Yeah, still got some platforms to play on. Because some people are stronger at platform movements. Some people are stronger at staying grounded, things like that. So, oh, the tech. That was a. Uh, I would say a confirmation there, you know, not like a read or a just, Yeah. Uh, he just got in position for it, yeah. saw the tech, and then the tech. And they'll just do it. Yeah. SF definitely, you know, off to a strong card again against Kai, but Kai's, you know, he was behind in the last match, he lost it, but it wasn't like a complete wash, wasn't a oh, full no, restock, no. anything yeah. like that, so he could definitely hang in this could so go either way. Yeah, definitely. I suck getting a grab here. Oh, when you get tossed onto that platform against Mars, so yeah. especially at that percent range, it's so scary if he just gets in position to go ahead and temper you. Yeah, it's scary. You gotta be get ready for those slide offs oh, and you know, killer. You got him there. Yeah, you gotta be ready. You know, if you get hit on that platform, you gotta be ready to slide off and kind of counter attack at that point. Especially the higher level you go or yeah. watch, folks with the slide off tech are uh, doing all sorts of things, slide ups, up airs that lead to like, you know, to death combos. Oh. Yeah. I love when people set up light shields by uh, by holding C. It's kind of amusing to me. It's like, I just it makes me wonder like, oh, did they like remove the springs from their buttons or are they just more comfortable doing it that way? Yeah, I think I think the Z, I think it can, it can screw you up sometimes because I use Z as well. Um, but I, it's, I have this. Yeah, I have to spring in analog. Yeah, you have to do it early, but it's just nice to know that it's going to be out there fully. Right. This whole thing. But who knows? I could definitely just Ooh. probably be doing something better. I honestly feel like in this matchup, the percent sometimes just like barely matters. You 
Yeah, yeah it's really... Yeah, kind of how we saw in the end of game one in SF. Like, you know, we kind of gimped Kai at the end there, so... In this matchup, Oh, he might do it again. Oh, got a sweet spot. One. He got a sweet spot. Kai's not, he's not sweet spotting this. Oh! Oh, the, the reversal. Thing. Yeah. Okay, I mean, we have a similar spot as last game. For SF for two, for two stocks right now. <laughs> Both short hop bearing at each other. Yeah, both swinging swords, you know, as much too. Oh, okay, I'm holding a space right now. Oh, cu cute little edge cancels coming out from Kai there. I like that kind of maintaining movement while slipping on other sides. Ooh, but SF got him in the juggle and finds there it the is. right through the platform. This could be another 2 0. Just 2 0s coming out one after the other. Uh, so good stuff to SF and GG's yeah. to Kai. That was, that was fun to watch. Uh, you know, that's the thing about commentary that I love is sometimes you're watching tournaments for your own enjoyment. You'll be like, oh, okay, well, here's my character. I'm going to really pay attention. Maybe I'll learn something. When you're doing commentary, you get to, I got, just got to pay really close attention. Mark that up. So, yeah, yeah, exactly. Good stuff, man. Sometimes people might not watch. They might not watch, like, every matchup uh, in the bracket unless they're actually commentating it. So you get to see fun stuff. Yeah, that's the nice thing about Melee is like, you know, they're long streams, so you can kind of just leave it on your TV. Maybe it's a Saturday, you got some chores to do, you're, you're hanging out with friends, but you're always kind of looking over and mid-conversation, something hype happens, you're like, wait, 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 no, I gotta, I gotta watch the tournament. <laughs> I gotta watch Galint Melee Open Fall Edition, sorry.